Hi, this is a short video where I'll talk about damped harmonic oscillation. So here's a wave in the image and on the left hand side is the starting point of the wave which shows a very high amplitude and by the time it comes to the right of the image the amplitude has got killed off and it's almost zero. That's the whole purpose of damped oscillation. It's good for automotive suspensions where the car may have a high amplitude when going over a speed breaker or a pothole and we want to reduce it to zero. The whole thing boils down to drawing a waveform for the oscillation. So draw a graph and on the left hand side you have the amplitude on the vertical y axis and the horizontal uh, draw out the time on the x axis. The yellow line which is symmetrical uh, for the waveform also determines what's called the mean position. So let's say a car is at rest and it's not moving at all. then the chassis, the body, the wheel, tire, the springs and the shock absorbers inside the springs are all at rest and in their mean position. So as the car goes over a speed breaker, you can see my previous video on that, or in a pothole, the mean position is disturbed. So when we talk about a suspension, it's just that the tire and wheels are hung by springs and shock absorbers from the chassis. Here in this simplified sketch, you can see a ring on the top which uh, is representative of the body and chassis and the ball is representative of the wheel and tire and the suspension system is represented by the spring there although we should also have a damper in addition to that this video is about damping of the oscillations if you do not have a damper the spring is likely to go on vibrating for a very long time so if you have a suspension that uh, does not have a damper then those oscillations that we saw will continue for a very long time which is not desirable for occupant comfort. So it's important to put a viscous damper which is normally a hydraulic unit that's uh, fitted inside that spring. Now coming to the uh, amount of damping, that's a decision uh, that's based on um, the assessment of comfort and uh, the dynamics of the suspension. So here you can see a particular waveform where the oscillations are brought down to zero with let's say four or five bounces uh, and this is one choice, so this is called an underdamped oscillation. This particular image shows that the oscillations have been brought on pretty quickly in three iterations to x equal to zero. So what's appropriate, what's right for a particular application is a matter of uh, judgment uh, based on various uh, test results and uh, it cannot be uh, quantified uh, in this particular video. But in general we can say that an underdamped oscillation is good for uh, passenger comfort. Thanks and have a great day.